Okay, how can the simplest be the most powerful? And um, the Chinese uh, Qigong master that I took classes from to finish my master's degree at University of Minnesota, uh, he uses this phrase, the simplest is the most powerful. And then he qualifies it saying, just because it's simple, that doesn't mean it's easy because it takes time. And so the question is what takes time? And the opposite of time is frequency as music. And so every human culture ha has music. And there's a simple secret to music that got covered up with the creation of Western uh, music and Western science. And Western science is actually from Western music. And so the simplest is the most powerful because you have to unlearn the basic lies that are taught as Western science that originated from the wrong Western music. So then we ask, what is the correct Western music? And it's very simple because when you look at music in for all humans, it started out from before human language. And we know this for a number of reasons, but if we study our original human culture, the San Bushmen, uh, the music is that the women sing all night long and clap a syncopated hand clap. And then the men dance all night long around a fire and the women are sitting around the men dancing in a circle. So it's very simple. There's no instruments. It's based on listening to the source of the singing. And also it's based on visualizing fire at the base of the spine. And that will turn the internal water into steam and that steam is the healing energy that then shoots out of the eyes into the women from the men. The men. So the, the energy from the women singing goes into the men and then the men dancing and visualizing the fire create this steam from their internal water and then that is called Kia. I don't know how to <laughs> pronounce it. So it's exclamation point K I A. And that's like a electrical um, force that shoots out of the eyes, out of the center of the brain. It's um, like a laser. It's literally a laser. And so this is this energy is then stored in the in the belly in the pit of the stomach it creates this burning heat um, called boiling energy and um, they call that num gum and so that's called that's a female energy so the it's also the original energy of the universe. And so when you can store up the num cum in the pit of the stomach, which is actually the small intestines, or and you can also experience it directly in the universe 
based on this male and female um, complementary opposites. And so all of that is experienced through the deep listening through the music, the source of the music from the singing. And there's a book called um, the um, the depth. What's it called? In the in the depth. Uh, it's by Victor Grauer. The the it's it. Okay, I'll I'll remember the title in a second. But he he um he studied music from all over the world as being originating from the sound Bushmen as they traveled out of Africa and then traveled around the world. Um, and so he has audio examples if you, so you can listen to this music and it's all similar to the original music where they have the female singing and the singing is just a free improv music and with the hand clapping so you get a similar music style around the world and um so the the fascinating thing is how did this secret get covered up and um then how did it get rediscovered? So if it's if it's so simple, then how can it be so powerful? So it turns out that this very simple concept was rediscovered as what's called the quantum sphere or the quantum two sphere. And it has to do with this idea that time and frequency overlap. So you have negative frequency and positive frequency and then you have time from the future going backwards and time from the past going to the future and so for example somebody asked a question what if the speed of light was zero on the on the quora forum where they offer physics answers and they don't they don't consider this simple truth of time and frequency being complementary opposites. So his response, this person responding said, well, if the speed of light is zero, you still have aging, but you do not have motion. And it proves that time will exist on its own as aging without space time as motion. Now, this is an interesting um, answer because the entropy of the universe assumes a biological observation of um, space time and time. So the problem with this is that they put observation before listening so it's always assumed that you are observing something as an external measurement whether it's with your eyes or with technology but when you listen you can listen faster than the speed of light because the the sound goes into what's called super radiance from the source of listening and this is proven in quantum biology but it's also proven mathematically because of this the source of the one is not a materialistic external measurement it's a what they call non-locality in physics so it's the future and the past overlapping and it's not a point it's not a localized point in space-time so there's no medium it's just pure time 
And because it's the future and the past overlapping, you can then resonate with the future. And so you can reverse time and you can reverse aging also by doing this. And so that's why there's a book called um, Taoist Yoga, Alchemy and Immortality. And there was a guy in China who died, um, I think in the 60s, but he was documented to be 250 years old because um, China keeps very um, well-disciplined, you know, government documents and stuff. And he practiced Qigong. He practiced meditation based on this internal listening. And... Um, so the truth is very, very simple. And what happened is we, we humans, we lived in the forest and the jungle. And in the jungle, listening is primary, the primary perception over vision. But when we open our eyes, uh, two thirds of our brain's energy is used for vision. And so as soon as we started relying on vision and external measurements for technology and then developing language for speaking, we started to lose this con this connection with our um, musical origins because even the origin of language is from music. And it's only in our original culture where they made that secret, the focus that every male has to had to train in this um, healing energy of the universe that they and the training was called Tashoma. So every few years, every couple of years, the males would go off for a month um, to fast and dance. And they do that away from the females to um, build up their energy to then open up the third eye. They didn't call it the third eye, but the, the numb, numb energy. And for the Kia, the KIA, exclamation point KIA, I don't know if anybody knows how to pronounce that, let me know in the comments section. So we can use science to reverse engineer what we used to be like and we didn't have warfare until farming developed where the plowing took over for males and hoarding wealth and stuff so i'm gonna leave it at that thanks